What's up, everybody? Promise here with another episode of Magic Duels Battle for Zendikar, and I have more coins for a pack. I think I'm gonna open the pack. Oh, what a, what a weekend it has been, man. Pre-release uh, for Oath of the Gatewatch is out. I did uh, two of them, one one with my wife. I did a, a two-headed giant, and that was like uh, the one on Saturday. And then I did a uh, I did the midnight release one with uh, it was forced to be two-headed giant in that one too. Uh, nothing. Do I like this guy? Not really. Not really. Um, I got a Kozilek. I mean, I guess that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm pretty tired right now, man. I've been I've been up and doing stuff, mostly magic related. I'm I'm, I'm trying to liquidate my entire like paper collection. Well, all right, not my entire paper collection, but. I'm uh, I'm seeing what Puka Trade can do for me. I, I the prices were always a little kind of questionable for me, but I feel like maybe Puka Trader is the best way to get rid of small cards that like I would never trade on TCG Player or even eBay. Like you know, like ten cent, twenty cent cards that nobody's gonna bother with. It's just not worth it unless you're doing it in massive bulk. But on Puka Trader, maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. Like I can sort of convert the value upwards, right? Um, this is keepable. Yeah, I don't go first, which is kind of a poop, but eh, I, I, let's see what we got. Our opponent is mulliganing. Not bad. He's got the right number of cards. Uh, Incrediboy, I guess, of the guild TNX, whatever the hell that is. Uh, a little bit above him in rank, but again, rank isn't a really good indicator of anything. Uh, still going to stick with Glory Chaser here. I think that's definitely the better play. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm... Just ate like a tray of ice cubes, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it was just a glass with like three drops of water and then mostly ice. And I was thirsty after I drank all the water, and I was like, "Well, ice is basically water," so I chewed all that. And now, now my throat's all closed up, and weird shit is happening. I definitely prefer majoring bully over infectious bloodlust here, even though uh, bloodlust um, is a little bit better. In terms of, like, total damage output, I think. But getting that guy out, I think, uh, is a little more worth it, maybe? I hope. I was also kind of afraid of a Twin Bolt there, because he had two open. One, At least one was red. I throw an Infectious Bloodlust down, and he two-for-ones me. That's no fun. So, I, I went with the, uh... I went with the Bully. Don't be bullies, guys. Uh-oh. This is Pilgrimage. What are we getting? Forests. A whole lot of forests. I'm guessing this is either uh, the red-green landfall deck. Actually, the landfall deck would have had a play by now, like a legitimate play. So I'm not actually convinced this is this is the landfall deck yet. He's totally tapped out. Who's this better on? I think this guy because he's harder to hit. No point in putting the street denizen down yet. He doesn't pump anybody. And we'll swing in, baby. That's a lot of damage. And we're going to have more later. I have other creatures, so I'm probably... Yeah. In fact, Dragon Fodder is going to be my next play. I think that's definitely the best one. Because that'll pump my uh, my Bully and my Street Denizen. Unless he's got one hell of a board wipe here, which I don't think he does. He should have something. I don't know what he has, but he should hopefully have something. Acid Moss is not it. <laughs> That does not scare me. Okay, so this is some kind of... I mean, I, I hesitate to say it's the Landfall deck. Because, I mean, they have Snapping Gnarlid. They have leopard or Scythe Leopards. They have, like, a lot of plays early game. He doesn't even have the 4 drops. Like, he's got a whole lot of not much. Which is kind of miserable for him. Do I want to leave this Fire Impulse open? Um, not really, actually. I think I'm just gonna not put down my land and just beat the absolute shit out of this guy <laughs> for 10. He's down to 2. He's dead to a lot of shit right now. Uh, the reason I didn't put down the Fire Impulse is maybe for a surprise. I'm not sure. I mean, he's probably dead as shit right now. He needs to whiteboard. That's the only way out of this. He, he has played no creatures, nothing relevant at all. Is he leaving right now? Yeah, he's probably leaving. Poor guy. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he, he had 
man. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, yeah, kill a couple of things. I don't give a shit about that. You're dead as fuck anyway. Okay, thank you. Alright, uh, well, let's see. I can even him. But should I? Yeah, I guess I will. Let's see if I can. Because he, he, he probably doesn't have a fiery impulse. Because he would have played that by now. Alright. Good job, man. I mean, I, not really. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. I know that. I mean, I don't. I guess he just didn't see what he needed, or he just. I don't know, man. We were we were late in the game too at that point, right? Like, there's almost no excuse at that point. We had like he had what like six, seven lands and no plays at all. I mean, other than like a couple of you know ramp spells, which didn't do jack shit. I don't know. Acid Moss, I mean, it doesn't deal with the board. It it It's great when you have creatures out or you already have, like, a presence. And then it just sets your opponent back so far. But on its own, it's total trash. It's not going to help you get out of a, out of a bind. Hmm. Oh, well. Ne next guy. Wow, I'm way above this guy. Maybe he's just, uh... Maybe he's just not giving a fuck or testing things out and he doesn't like the AI. Um, I can keep this. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Glory Chaser. I play first. It's gonna be Titan Strength on the Glory Chaser. Hopefully he doesn't have any plays here. And if he does, hopefully it's just a 1-1. One, because one. there is a white with a 2-1, I think. That lion thing. Which is kind of legit. I don't actually know if it's in this game or if I'm, like, confusing Paper Magic. Whatever. Regardless, we got it. Uh, if I get a land, I might actually... Oh, I did. Hmm. Okay, in that case, um... The Titan Strength isn't as necessary, so I think I'm just going to swing in for one, get the Menace. And I'm going to drop my Mage Ring. Now, I'm seeing that black. Languish is a concern. Not gonna, I'm not going to be rushing into those Languishes anymore. I'm going to try to be a little more careful. Just a little bit, though. Not not like a lot. Don't, don't expect my behavior to change that much. <laughs> Um, Demir Colors, so I'm definitely saying Control Deck, so he's probably got Language, he's probably got that, uh, three power, less kill it card, and maybe even the Converted Mana one, and that Exile one, and just all the black removal crap for three and two. Reef Soul, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the one. Mage Ring, I think. Actually, ooh, good choice. I'm not sure. If he has creatures, he should probably take out the Mage Ring Bully. Uh, okay, so this kind of tells me that he doesn't have a lot of things in his hand, I think. Uh, Titan Strength is... Ooh, wow. Wow. Uh, that's a swing and a half. I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of that. That's, that's just a little bit too much damage for me to ignore right now. That is such a, a fuck. That is such a fuck. Um, actually, I do like that. Shit. Wait, should I do it again? What will that add? Four damage to my six? Put him down to ten? Get him down to nine, I mean? But I want that. I want... No, I want the twin bolt up there. And it's just gonna... Yeah, no, fuck it. I'll let it go. I'll let it go this time. He can probably kill my twin... My, my mage ring. That's... But, I mean, I have this dragon fodder here, and I'm getting a twin bolt. So all I have to do is get him down to four, and he's dead. I don't know, that might have been a wrong play. I don't know. I don't know. Was four damage worth it? I'm assuming that my bully is gonna die this turn. And I, I missed an opportunity for that, but then I'm gonna get two more here. Uh I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean I saw that play going. Actually, can I save it? Three or less. I can actually save it. Holy shit, that's so much better. Oh my god, I like accidentally made the right play. <laughs> yeah, keep that on the top, please. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, well, he still one for one me, and he saved himself four damage. Sort of, because... No, not really. Oh, wait, shit, and I just said I wasn't going to play into a Languish, and here I am playing into a Languish. Son of a bitch. What a f ah, shit. I should have waited. Should have waited, you guys. Bad Fravus. Now he's only going to ten. 
He would have died, though, and I would have had him down to 9 last turn. So really, he only saved himself 1 damage. If he languishes here, I'm going to be a little bit upset, but it's not like the end of the world. I'm still drawing live to a bit, and I have a lot of removal. There's languish, of course. Of course. I shouldn't have done that dragon fodder. God damn it. Like, I, I always know when it's coming, and I, and I just don't stop myself, you know? And yeah, now I'm fucked because I have no creatures. Oh, why didn't I just save those guys? It was just one damage. One damage. And now he's got... And now he's he's stabilized. He doesn't have to worry too much. I mean, I can, I can smack him for four, so I really only need to do six damage to him. For four? Shit. Um... How much does that cost to activate? Two... that through. Pop him with that. I mean, I don't want him to have that lifelink. That's just brutal as hell to me. Lifelink will be no fun. Oh, God. And now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in real trouble. Oh, because of that stupid uh, dragon fodder play. Man, I have no one but myself to blame for that. Oh, I can't even blame you guys. I can't. I want to. Like, a part of me wants to blame you. Like, oh, if you guys didn't tell me to do it like with your brains but you didn't tell me to do it did you you didn't at all it's not your fault at all and now he's got another one of these things with lifelink i think i lost this um i need like a chandra or something that's not really gonna do it oh hello phone that's not gonna do it i mean i could pump it up to a three two but i need the uh the twin bolt as well I'll do this after combat, so I actually have, like, something legit. But, um, I'm actually fucked here. I'm actually really fucked here. And he's gonna go up to 11? No, I think I lost this. If he... Let's see, does he swing? He sees that I'm down to one card. He can swing, because I'm down to one card. And, I mean, what could it be? A worst case scenario, four damage to the face plus three, and he's gained two life here. No, he's okay. He could swing in, and he can start. Yeah, no, he's, he's fine. Because if he doesn't swing in, he stays at nine, and then he's open to more removal. Or he's open to more burn. Yeah, that's a card. Man, he, he, had, a, he had a good starting hand. He had, he had exactly what he needed. I mean, look at, look at this. Removal, removal, and then this play, which shouldn't have been as effective as it was, and then uh, a couple of Merc Lurkers, one after the other. He could have swung in. I think that's a misplay. Uh, because he's not being aggressive, I'm just going to leave because it's just going to take forever, and I'm going to lose at the end anyway. Um, just trust me. I'm going to lose, and the point of this deck is to try to grind out as quickly as possible, and if he's stabilized, I, I'm, it's an uphill battle, and I don't have the, the aggro anymore. He's got uh, life-linking walls and uh, and creature destruction, so there's just no way. This is that no. If somehow I did, it wouldn't be in the next like six turns. If I did somehow win, and at that point I might as well just give up and do another game because it's going to be another six turns for that win. So fuck it. Well, maybe not six turns, but I should win hopefully by turn six or seven with this deck. Uh, I'll keep this. Oh, I'm not in the play though. Shit. Oh well. Great finisher right here. Like seeing that. Good removal. Excellent early game, and I got the creatures to boost it, so everything here is working out for me. Um, playing the same colors. Don't like that. So I'm thinking, I don't know, Reef Soul maybe? If I put down Goblin Arsonist, he's less likely to re Reef Soul. Wait, is Reef Soul a sorcery? No, it's not, right? It's an instant. Oh man, I, how do I not remember this shit? Oh no, no, we got we got red in here, which is actually more dangerous, not less. <laughs> that opens him up to a lot more shit that I don't want to see. Uh, but for one mana, he's not going to be able to deal with that. So we're going to get in there with as much as we can. And if he can't take care of that, then we're goblin arsonist thing, arsonist thing, arsonist thing. I don't know. We're dropping that down, smacking him for five trample. Or, I guess we could fire Impulse if he has something that can actually deal with it, but 
I have a feeling he's got some kind of removal. I mean, he's got all the removal colors. So, yeah, there you go. That's a removal. <laughs> yeah. That is not surprising to me. I mean, it was something. It was going to be Flesh Bag. It was going to be Reeve Soul. Uh, this deck, does it do well with uh, red? I guess it can because it has those, um, those uh, steel effects. So that's not so bad. Yeah, not going first is really hurting me. Because he should be down a little bit lower than he is right now. And if he's got a hand full of removal, I'm also quite dead. Uh, that is not removal. In fact, that does not concern me at all. At all. That was a little bit of a premature play, I think. Maybe he was trying to wall off the 1-1. Uh, the one -one. But, I don't know, that's just a wacky kind of a play. Not sure I want to put down these mountains. Uh, because if I get that enchantment that I can uh, sack them out and deal two damage to this bastard, uh, I'll be a lot happier doing that than I would uh, playing mountains. Just saying. Just saying. Caparzo. 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 Nice background. That actually, the, the, the blue and purplish work really well with this guy's hat. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Valerian Steel, but that hat, honestly? No, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> oh shit, was that From Beyond? What did he just play? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is this? Is that one of those creatures that turn into a thing? A 3-3 three, three for 4. He doesn't have the green for it, though. He doesn't have the green for it, so I'm okay. No, you don't, you don't have the colors for it, bro. Oh, you do have the green for it! Oh shit, look at that. Alright, well, I just lost that. That sucks. And he's going to block. And... No. Why would I... Oh, it has Hexproof! Fuck! <laughs> wow, well... That's actually a really good card. Holy shit. Hexproof. Damn, baby. Damn the man. Do I want to start unloading here? What can I do? 8 damage to him? Then I have to do an additional 6... Hmm, I don't really want to unload. Do I want to unload? I'm going to do it, just so I have a little bit more progress, but I'm not sure if I should have saved that. Because he could have a 4-4 coming down on me. If I had played first, that would have been a lot less uh, useful. I was wondering if he was going to attack with that Lumbering Falls. Apparently not. Interesting. Okay. He's just leaving it open. He's probably got a bunch of removal and shit in there, huh? Well, there's my Chandra. No way in hell she survives, right? <laughs> no way in hell. Let's see if that's even possible. I really don't think so. Oh, should I put down a land? Oh, shit, I should have put down a land. Yep, Languish on the Chandra. Uh... I mean, I would. That's that's the play I would have done. Chandra would have won me the game. That would have been too much damage. Oh, darn. Okay, well, I'm not picking up the cards I need anymore. This is not good. <laughs> not good. And that's, I mean, that's part of the problem with playing the, uh, the aura. Because auras need creatures. And if you don't have the creatures, uh, the auras are just dead in your hand like, like it is right now. But the advantage is that you can get a ton of damage out really early, and that's the point. That is the point. I'm not supposed to survive late game, and I mean, I'm, I've already, I'm already past the uh, the amount of time that this deck is supposed to exist. This definitely gets countered, or uh, not countered, but killed. Yeah, he's got all the yeah, he's got all the colors actually, other than white. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I didn't, for a second I thought he wasn't blocking, and I was like, that's really weird. Why wouldn't you block that? That's totally the block. I do like Infectious Bloodlust. Every now and then I, I consider cutting it, but um, sometimes that haste is actually a lot more relevant than I think. Uh, that sucks. There goes my Twin Bolt. That's a big old poo. How the hell am I going to get rid of that thing now? Now, see, that's why I shouldn't have dumped my fucking uh, exquisite firecraft. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. 
I lost this. Nah, he's got me dead. He's got me dead. I got nothing. Um, let's do it again. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that three games? A win, a loss, and a loss. Yeah, that was. Alright, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we did open a pack already. Uh, next, next episode, I will open some more. We are actually uh, attempting to get up to rank uh, 40. The, the real goal is to get this card collection completely opened up. I want, uh, I, I don't want, um, what the hell are the filters? I don't, I don't want, uh, oh, these are the only ones I need? No, these are owned. What the hell am I doing? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Not new cards. Not new cards. What is that? What does this mean? I don't know what that is. Okay, so how many more cards do I need, actually? All right, I got one more here. One more here, so that's two, three, four, five, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Am I really doing this? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I got a few packs. Oh, I got a bunch of packs, actually, don't I? Ugh. Oh, and I still don't have all the snapping gnarlins I need. All right, whatever. Uh, that, that'll do it for this episode. No, I'm not leaving. Um, I'll see you in the next one, you guys. See you later.